Hello YouTube family, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita and a welcome and in today's video, we're going to get into one that was highly requested you guys. I asked and you all spoke. You said yes Sharita, please. Give us a top five Middle Eastern fragrances video. So that is what we are doing today and all of these are going to be perfect for spring. So this is somewhat like the spring edition top five. I'm really excited to share these with you all. If you ride with me, you probably know most of these, but without further ado, you all, let's jump right in. All right, you guys, so before we start, make sure, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Be sure the notification bell is turned on and set to all. And last but not least, if you find any value in the content, please give me a big thumbs up as it helps my channel to grow. And the first one that we're going to get into is going to be a newer one to my collection, but it is so good, you all. This is going to be Floor Oud, and this is from the house of Catalage. So this fragrance to me is not a dupe for anything. I think half of um, these we're gonna talk about, they are not dupes for anything in particular to my knowledge. Now, if I'm wrong, y'all let me know in the comments, but I've never smelled anything quite like this. So this one is fruity and it's floral, but it's also got a really rich base. So you open with really bright notes of a very invigorating mandarin orange. It's so gorgeous and you have it paired with some rose. Now I do love the fact that they featured the rose in the top. So it's not overtaking this scent and making it become a rose scent. Then in the mid, you have a beautiful, sweet, succulent pear note, okay? This pear, it is very sweet, but there's a crispness to it as well and it is coupled with a gorgeous orange blossom and jasmine. And I do love the fact that they balanced out these white florals with the rose at the top. It is so, I'm telling you, it really does take a fragrance to the next level when I see that in a composition. So in addition to those florals, you also have middle notes of musk and geranium. So when you get into the base, you have amber wood, you have vanilla, tonka bean, and amber. And like I said, the base just really makes it so beautiful. It adds a beautiful depth to this fragrance, but in all, it's still going to wear very bright and fresh. Okay. So you don't have to worry about this one being too much, you know, as it starts to heat up outside. It is so opulent. It's really beautiful and ultra feminine. So if you're in the market for something like that, very signature scent worthy, please get your little coins together and get your nose on this fragrance because I think you can get this under $50. Um, I purchased mine from Amazon and it's just one I highly recommend. Gorgeous scent, okay? Floor Oud from the house of Cudlage. Next up is No Strangers to the Channel. You already knew that this was gonna be on here, but we're doing the top five and I did not want to do it without my girl, okay? The good girl, Shagab Oud Tonka, just, is a complete obsession for me. I don't know what it is. The notes individually, like, they don't do it for me, okay? But when you put them all together, whoever created this gave us something that smells phenomenal. And the performance on this is also phenomenal. So, this one does not have any oud in it, you guys. I don't smell any oud, um, and there's no oud listed in the notes, so if you're not a lover of oud, fear not because I don't smell it in this fragrance. I don't know if I said it about floor oud, same deal with this one. So this is, yeah, <laughs> you can pretty much, you know, ignore the oud um, on the title. So, oud Tonka definitely is all about a beautiful Tonka note. This wears very fresh, it wears powdery, it is definitely a brightness um, that this maintains throughout the life of the scent. So even though it's called Shagaf Oud Tonka, this doesn't wear like a really heavy or, you know, deep, dark scent. It's nothing like this, completely opposite of that. You've got some rose featured in this fragrance um, and it's very vanilla. It's sweet and it definitely is, you know, close to BDK's a Velvet Tonka, but I like this one a lot better. I've said before, Velvet Tonka really fell flat on my skin. I love the opening. And then it just kind of like, you know, five minutes into it, I was not impressed. I never felt compelled to revisit the fragrance um, after I sampled it a couple times and definitely did not need a full bottle, but this one has my whole heart. If you are looking for a fragrance that 
really performs, okay? Because everyone is going to be smelling this on you. Everyone is going to compliment you. And this, I don't know what it is in the juice, but the men really seem to gravitate towards this scent. They really do seem to come out with the compliments when you step outside with Utanka on. It's just something so addictive about it and I just, I can't. Like if you have not tried this, if you have not purchased this scent, quit playing. Like quit playing and get your life because it is a stunner, okay? And perfect for spring and summer. I feel like this is one you gonna wear all year, okay? You can definitely wear it all year, but it's just something so bright and uplifting about this little Tonka baby right here. Again, this one is Shagaf Utanka by Swiss Arabian. All right, you guys, so this next one, when I tell you I am shook hip, okay? Shook. <sighs> Musamam, white and tense from Latafa. O-M-G. I got this based off the recommendation from Chris from the Perfume Nest. And I actually saw her talk about this a couple times and I was just like, oh, I need it. I need to put it in the car. And then it's like, I'm someone who abandons a, a jump shop cart so often. And it, I don't know, I just never pulled the trigger and something was just speaking to me one day. And they was just like, Sharita, you need this gold snake in your collection. First of all, this doggone bottle, this camera is not doing it any justice. Okay, it is stunning, you guys. It is so beautiful in person. And the scent, the scent. If you are a sandalwood lover, you need to put this video on pause. <laughs> you need to get on Drama Shop, Amazon, whoever is selling it right now, and you just need to buy it. Okay, I'll wait. P pause it, we'll be here when you get back. This is one of the most beautiful sandalwood fragrances I have ever put my nose on. And it's not just a simple sandalwood. That's what I love about it. This is so creamy, but it doesn't feel super like, like tonic, like milk, okay? This has ylang ylang and coconut. And it doesn't come off as anything coconut, beachy, summery vibe like those notes would suggest but they've managed to make it really creamy with those notes. The sandalwood also very creamy and you have got some really sexy, spicy notes in this fragrance and I don't know what they are, but my nose is picking up on something that I'm talking about when I say the slightest hint of leather to me, maybe it's saffron. Maybe it's saffron because whatever it is, is giving me just a like a, just a touch of something, you know, Middle Eastern sexy. All right, so let's get into the full note breakdown of this one. It opens with orange and bergamot, and then you have the spices that I mentioned, indiscriminate. Um, you also have coconut, ylang ylang, mahonio, and ambroxan. Okay, mahonio. Okay, we <laughs> we already know that there is a a wonderful perfume behind this, Jivadan perfumer. Okay. That's why it smells so damn good. And then you have sandalwood, benzoin, and musk featured in the base. So you guys, this fragrance is just a must smell. It is a must try. It is a must buy if you love sandalwood because this one is just like, this is going to be such an it girl fragrance for me for spring and summer. This is one you can wear all year, but there's just something like, there's this freshness to it and this brightness to it with it still at the same time being very sandalwood for it and very creamy. I think this is, I'm just go out on a limb and say this is this given masterpiece. So the top is so like big that you really can't see the dent, but y'all I have not had this long. I have been spraying my little heart out and it's just one I cannot recommend enough. Get your nose on this one if you've never tried it. It's a must have. It is a must have. So again, this one is Musamam White Intense and this is from the house of Latafa. Next up is going to be one that I don't think is particularly a dupe for um, another fragrance, but I could be wrong. I haven't smelled every vanilla out there, but you know I'm a vanilla girl. So I had to put Bois de Vanille on the list. So this wears so vanilla for it. It is very rich and it is very, very ambery, but because of some of these other more tropical notes that they've included, this makes it wearable all year. 
you can absolutely wear this fall and winter because it's got that depth. Okay, look at the color of the juice. But there is also enough going on where you can pull this out on a spring and summer date night too, girl. Okay, so Guadavani is just gonna have you back all year. Guadavani opens with notes of cassis bud. So there's a little fruitiness, you know, in the top. And then you have heart notes of solar and rose. Base notes of coconut, vanilla, and amber. So it's not extremely complex at all, but it smells so well balanced, beautifully rounded. And this is just like a must. If you have been looking and scouring the net for a really gorgeous vanilla forward Middle Eastern fragrance, okay? And this one, I'm so sorry, it's been selling out. It has been selling out. But of course, you know, when it starts to restock, I try to share that with you and just keep on the lookout because it's one you really don't want to miss out on, you guys. It's so beautiful. Again, that vanilla and coconut, it is in the base. So you really are getting that very well blended though so it's not going to stand out in a particular way that like i said it comes off as super summery or solar or anything like that but above all this is a very ambery vanilla okay <laughs> and i am here for it and it is just such a must have for my vanilla girlies out there it's sweet but it's not gourmand overly sugary sweet if that if that makes any difference to you but one I absolutely love and can't get enough of. Again, this one is Bois de Vigny by the House of Le Bois. Last but certainly not least, y'all, where are my Valaya lovers? Where are my girls that want Valaya but they not trying to spend the coins? They been looking for a dupe. Well, here you have it. Mystique Bouquet is everything that you need if you are trying to get the scent of Valaya in your life. This is such a beautiful dupe. Like, I literally cannot like overstate that it is perfect so this okay i'm just going on a limb it has my home you'll know well you know you you, you watch me it's a proprietary note it's patented okay <laughs> only jibbidale performance can use that note it's in here which means stay with me now she and valaya same perfume firm all right same perfume firm all right so you have all the same notes, you guys. You've got the white peach. You've got the similar florals. You have the similar woods. The only difference that I'm picking up is you do not have that Akigala wood. You still have this very musky molecular thing going on without a doubt. It still, you know, performs not as quite as loud as Valaya because it doesn't have the Akigala wood. The Akigala wood note is extremely loud in any perfume. It is very woody and it's a little spicy and it's very distinct and it really does make Valaya a standout in you know your market of of fresher floral scents. It really makes it special. And so this one does not have that, but that may be a good thing for people who did not like Valaya because of that particular note. So I'm gonna go out on the limb and say. If you liked most of Aliyah and you did not enjoy that particular component, this is your girl, okay? It still has a woody presence though. So I feel like you definitely get the vetiver. It's more so replaced with other woody facets, but trust me when I say everything else is Valaya to of the T. Beautiful, beautiful release from the house of Afnon. And I mean, the bottle is, <laughs> Listen, the bottle is nothing to scoff at either. Quality is weighty. The cap, you know, it doesn't feel super light, cheap, and plasticky. They really did a bang up job on this scent, you guys. So if you're looking for something, you know, with a little white peach and you've got, you know, like I said, the musky, the Ambrox thing going on, this is one you definitely need to check out, okay? And then, again, under $50. You're smelling great, you're smelling rich, and you're saving your money. You are saving your money, all right? So all of these, you guys, I cannot recommend them enough. You can get all of these for under $100 and probably for under $50. And if you are into smelling opulence, if you are into smelling phenomenal, if you are into others smelling you, all five of these are must-tries. They're beautiful. They work perfect for spring and summer. 
and what are you waiting for get to shopping all right everything will be linked below and i have really enjoyed this time with you all please drop me a comment let me know your top five middle eastern fragrances that you will be pulling for or if any of these are new or to your radar and piqued your interest let me know that as well you guys make sure that you are subscribed to the channel be sure that notification bell is turned on and set to all and again give the video a big thumbs up if you found any value in the content it has been real i love you all youtube and i will catch you guys on the next one